are looking at something super special today. Check it out, my friends. Nearly a six million year old elephant graveyard unearthed in Florida. Yeah, Florida's not where you think of when you think elephants, right? But check this out. We are talking about a pack of pachyderms found in the uh, southern state. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with me. Let's dive right in. Paleontologists have uncovered a graveyard of ancient elephant relatives. <laughs> I think I said elephantives. <laughs> Archaeologists and volunteers excavate a excavate the Gompathir, uh graveyard in northern Florida, covering the fossils in plaster cast to protect them. That's what we got in this image right here. Um, an ancient elephant graveyard chock full of massive bones has been unearthed along with what was once a prehistoric river in northern Florida. The fossils of these long extinct beasts belong to Gompotheres, a relative of modern elephants, and date back to about 5.5 million years ago during the Miocene Epoch. <laughs> it was very exciting because this gave us an opportunity to not only see what an adult Gompothera would have looked like, but it also a very, but it's also a very careful documentation of each and every bone and its skeleton, said Jonathan Bloch, a curator of vertebrates uh, at the Florida Museum of Natural History who co-led the excavation. That's exciting from a scientific perspective if you're trying to understand the anatomy of these animals and something about their biology and evolution, Bloch told Live Science. Here's what they looked like. Pretty cool looking creatures. There's the Grompathir up there. They had four tusks, which is uh, unique. They also had tusk on the bottom. Not as, as pronounced as like you see in like a bloody, bloody belladon, but still pretty cool. Researchers discovered a, the trove of Grompathir bones at the site. It's a large scale excavation area near Gainesville known as the Montbrook site in 2022. Although excavators had unearthed some Gompothere bones there before, the team was surprised when a volunteer found remains of especially large individuals. I started coming upon one after another of the toe and ankle bones, Dean Warner, a retired chemistry teacher and Montbrook volunteer said in a statement, as I continued to dig, what turned out to be the ulna and radius long arm bone started to be uncovered. There's Gompathiers look like pretty cool. Like I said, they got the wicked uh, bottom tusk too. They got their top tusk that point kind of downward, and then the bottom tusk that point upward. So they kind of have this like closing structure. Eventually, the team excavated entire skeletons from one adult and at least seven juvenile Gompathiers. The adult measures eight feet, 2.4 meters tall uh, to the uh, shoulder. And the scientists estimate while it is, or say while its skull and tusk are more than nine feet long, that's 2.7 meters, which is roughly the same size as a modern African elephant, which Loxodonta africana, in case you didn't know, a remarkable size that sets local records for the largest Gompothere. Not only were the bones much larger than any other individual that we've seen, but they were actually in place, in place as if the animals had laid down and died, Blotch said. The animals likely died hundreds of years apart rather than all at once. The researchers believe the adults drown at the lo this location, while the other animals were likely swept up by the water after dying and accumulated at a bend in the river. Blotch called the pile up a bone jam, simply or similar to many loose log club. We actually just did a video about log jams just a little bit ago. So bo bones doing the same thing, weird and kind of gross, but cool. Tapophany is uh, awesome. Loose logs clog up rivers to create a log jam. Okay. Species in the Gompothere family are typically differentiated by their tusk shape 
and body size. The tusks of the ancient Montbrook beast have a unique enamel banding, which means these species are part of the genus, here we go, Rhinocerium. The researchers said, now Rhine, is that Rhine like rhino? Which means nose? Hmm. Rhin Rhinocerium. I haven't, I'm not familiar with that, with that genus. Millions of years ago, these elephants, these elephant relatives once thrived on the open savanna throughout Africa, Eurasia, and the Americas. However, grasslands gradually started to replace savannas in these areas due to cooling temperatures beginning around 14 million years ago and competition over limited resources following the arrival of mammoths and elephants eventually drove gompotheres to extinction about 1.6 million years ago. In 2020, a study in the Journal of Paleobiology found. The new discovery will help researchers better understand the lives of these ancient proboscideans and the environments they lived in. According to the researchers, eventually the public will be able to uh, see the large specimens on display. Blotch uh, and his team are planning to assemble the fossil fo fossils uh, from the adult gompotheres and place it alongside the massive mammoth and mastodon skeleton currently in F the Florida Museum of Natural History. There is so much we can learn from these things, and we're excited to do it in the future, Blotch said. So that was Live Science. This was right up by Kelly Price for Live Science Writer. She's, uh, her work's also appeared in National Geographic, Slate, and Manga Bay, and more. Yeah, she, uh, Let's see, she's got a master's degree from the university, uh, master's degree at New York's University of Science, Health and Environmental Reporting Program. All right, so that was that. Uh, thank you so much for sticking around for Paleo Peak here at the very end of the show. Uh, always uh, so much love and, uh, and support from my community it just keeps me going all the time. Uh, please remember to turn to, to tune in Wednesday for a uh, little bit of creation watch and then Friday we'll be back at it with uh, cryptic corner and then finally Saturday morning you got to be here for live from the hive if you want to be over in this chat over here this cool chat with all these cool people sign up for that and uh, and uh, hit the the button if you want to get some of those cool little uh, badges next to your name out there you can become a channel member by hitting that button down there and uh, signing up for channel memberships we also do have a patreon if you're interested in using that route instead you can sign up for my patreon i'm not as active over there as i am on the uh as i or as i should be uh as i am on the, the main channel so uh Whichever way you want to go, uh, I can. I also just opened a merch store at Redbubble, so check that out. We got three designs. We got the Hive Science Bee or Hornet, and we got the uh, the Mothman uh, for Cryptic Corner, and of course our uh, our domed Creation Watch Earth. So uh, I guess that's all I have to say. And besides, please remember to be kind and take care, and we'll see you next time. Mwah. Thank <laughs> you.